Heather here. Thanks for joining me to uh, make a card. Today I thought we could use this new Hero Arts Fun in the Rain stamp set to make a cute little card. So I'll put a link down in the description box to the stamp set if you would like to head over and grab one up and color along with me or make a card too. I really appreciate you taking the time to shop with me. So I thought we would use maybe this little elephant. So let's get that out. Let's go ahead and peel this little paper off. Put it over here so I don't lose it. So I'm gonna take my little stamp here and my acrylic block. And I got a, grabbed a couple pieces of Nina 80 pound um, solar white cardstock. I'll also put a link to that down in the description box if you'd like to grab some of that. I really love it. And I'm going to stamp my images with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is great for Copic coloring for which I am planning on coloring my images with. So we're gonna stamp our little guy here. And I'm planning on cutting them out, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a white space around the outside. Make sure I have enough room on there. So we got him. And let's see here, which other one should we use? Let's do, we'll stamp a couple and then if we decide not to use them later we can. How about this little dog? He's cute. Get him on there. It's a new stamp set, so we'll see how it stamps up. And let's leave room so we can cut him out. Okay, that looks good. And we'll wipe him off. And let's see, what other ones should we use? Let's see. How about a couple of these little, um, how about this umbrella, maybe? And I may not use all these in the finished card, but we'll stamp some up and color them, and then when we get to putting the card together, we'll decide how much room we have. That's an umbrella. And then I want to do a couple of these little ducks. So let's grab those little guys. And since these are so small, I think I will get a little bit smaller block and stamp these. And I'm gonna put them a little bit further apart there so that um, I can still cut those out if I want to. Okay, and let's give them a little stamp down here. So let's start out by coloring our images here. And for my, when I pick colors, I use this wonderful chart by Sandy Alnock. Um, it's a hex chart, it comes blank. I think you can also get one that's colored, but I colored mine in and this is invaluable. I love this thing. I pick colors off of it all the time to color my images. So I'm going to start with the little ducks. So we're gonna pick some stuff in here to start with. So let's zoom down here so we can get a little bit closer to our duck. So, oops, gotta pick up my paper a little bit. The stand's in the way. So let's do, for the ducks, let's do Y17. And I haven't planned today, so I'm just going to sort of wing it and see what we get. And how about Y23? Because <clears throat> they're kind of little, so we're not gonna need too many. So I'm going to start with my Y17, and let's see. Yeah, this little guy. And then we'll add some Y23. And I think I'll do a two coats. So let's grab um, our Y17 again. And 
and then I'm going to give it our second coat of the Y23. Okay, then it's a little bill. Let's do, how about YR14 for those. little feet. Let's hop up here and do this little elephant next. So let's do C6420 and E93 for inside the ears. So I'm going to start with my C6. And let's see. Put in some shadows here. Let's go with our C4. Then we'll do C2. It's looking really messy, but that's okay. We'll fix it up. And then let's do C0. And then I'm going to go with the second coat. So let's go with C4.
Then we'll add our second coat of C2. And then we'll give it our second coat of C0. Then I'm going to take my E93 and do his um, inside of his ear. Pick it up. Okay, right in here. And let's do inside his mouth too. Well, and then I'm going to take. C6 and color his toenails or his little foot pads here. And I'm going to take C0 and do a little bit here on his ear. I'll do maybe a little C2 also on his ear. I'll grab a little bit more of our E93. And a second coat of C0. Oh, for his little umbrella up here, let's use the colors we used on the duck. So we're going to use YR14, Y17, Y23. And I'm going to start with YR14. And let's see, let's do this one over here first. And then we're going to do this one. Skip one. And then we'll add Y17. And then Y23. I'm going to give it a second coat. So we're going to do YR14.
y17. Y23. And then let's hop down here just in case I want to use this other umbrella and we'll do this one too. So again, start with your YR14. I think maybe I'll do the opposite. Let's do this middle section as the yellow. Um, Y17. And Y23. And we'll do a second coat. So YR14. Y17, and Y23. Let's do the other parts of the umbrella with red. So let's do R29, 17, 14, and 22. I'm going to start with R29. And I'm going to add R17. R14. And then R22. Let's do the umbrella handle with R29. And let's do the stick with our C4. And the ends of the little umbrella. Let's go up here and do the rest of the umbrella for this little elephant too. So again, we're going to start with our R29.
R17. R14. And R22. Do. He doesn't have any stuff on the end of his little thing. So let's do R22 for the umbrella stick too. Let's do. Let's hop down here and do the dog. For him, I think I'm gonna use E44, 43, and 42. I'm gonna start with my E44. around his nose. Then we'll add some E43. And then E42. Let's see, oh, he's got a little bit of his neck showing there. So let's grab E44 again and do right here. He's got a little bit of his body. And behind his ear. And darken a little bit of this stuff up down here a little bit. I'm gonna add a second coat of E43. And then E42. And 
let's see, we better do his eye patch here, so let's do... Let's do his nose when, in C6. And then I'm going to do his tongue with R30. Then I think I'll do his coat in the red. So R29, 17, 14, and 22. I'm going to start with R29. Let's do inside here first. And let's see. I'm going to put some accents of yellow on his little coat here on the outside. So let's do the hood up here at the top first. And let's see, R17. And then R twenty two. And let's do this cape part down here too. So let's grab R29. R17. R14. And then we'll fill it in with our R22. For the little hood part, let's do YR14. Y17. And then Y23.
Okay, so I turned off the camera to cut my little pieces out because I'm like the worst fussy cutter on the planet. I didn't pick up the coordinating die that goes along with this stamp set. But I'd save a few bucks and just cut it out myself. <laughs> so I kind of turned that off and cut all my little parts out here. And now I'm going to... I cut out a four and a half piece by four and a half piece of peanut um, cluster cardstock. And let's see where we want to put our parts. So let's go this guy. I want to have a cinnamon on here, so maybe we can have our little duck jumping in something, maybe. Okay, so we've got our little parts there. So let's see, we have some choices. You brighten up my day, we'll weather this together, have a good day, warm wishes. So I'm thinking maybe we'll weather this together will be good. So let me get that out. So let's see. where should we put this? How about we put this up here? And then we'll have this little guy. I'm thinking maybe he could sit in a puddle. Because there's some puddles on here. Let me take this plastic off. So I got this little puddle. So maybe he could be sitting kind of in this, Maybe like so, and then we got, whoops, keep sticking to my finger, and then we got a little duck here, let's do, how about he can jump in a puddle, so how about this guy, whoops, my stamp just keeps sitting stuck right on there, so we can have him jumping into the puddle, like this, and what about our little dog here? What's he gonna be doing? Maybe he's just standing on, looking at him like, why are you doing all that? Get out of there. And then maybe we could do, um, there's some little raindrops in here, so maybe we could have some rain coming down up here onto our thing. Okay, so that's my plan. So let's take this stuff off, and I'm going to put my piece of paper into my um, Stamp Perfect Hampton Arts um, stamp positioner. Let's put this up here. Take my little circles off. And I'm going to put my magnet on here to hold it down. And whoops. These magnets are crazy. They're constantly getting stuck to everything. Okay, I'm going to set all this stuff over here for a minute. And I know I want my sentiment right here, so let's do that first. So we're going to, let me see, do I have it straight? I'm going to pick it up on my stamp positioner and kind of see if it's on the line there, and it is, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to stamp my verse with um, VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I'll do that. This way I'll make sure that it definitely gets stamped on there and looks perfect. I think I'll stamp it just one more time, just to make it a little bit darker. And I'm not pushing too hard because I don't want to squish the letters out. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we'll wipe this off. And then let's do a little crazy paper. Put that over there. Then let's do, let's see, we want him to put our little elephant in here. So let's do him, and I want to cover up my words. So let's do the little puddle for, oh, crazy magnet, get over there. Let's do a little puddle right here. Stay, little puddle. I'll pick that up. Okay, and then we're going to stamp that with my, because I want to add some colors to that, so I'm going to stamp that with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue to our puddle here after we get it all put together. I'm going to stamp that. And I better get a bit of second stamp here. And that's better. Wipe that off. Okay, so we got our little elephant 
And let's see, we're going to have our duck jumping. So let's do our little duck. Let's move our magnet over here a little bit. How about we do our duck right here? That looks like a good spot. Snap it twice. Make sure it's nice and crisp. Okay. Now pick that up. Okay, so we have our little duck right here jumping into the puddle. And then we have our dog. So let's do, we need some rain. So grab some raindrops. And how about here? that. Oh, let's see. Should we do some different ones? Let's do, let's move those. Let's do a little bit over here, maybe. How about right here? Oops, get off my finger. Oops, I didn't wipe it, I wipe it off, so I'm getting ink everywhere. Okay, so I want to put it right here. Cover up that black spot that I just made. Perfect. Covered that right up. Okay, I'm liking that, so I'm going to leave it like that for a minute, and let's see what we can do with um, our Copics on there. So let's add a little blue to our puddle. For that, we're going to use BO1 and triple zero. And I've never colored on this peanut cluster card stick start dot, so let's see how that works out. I'm going to start with my BO1. Let's do a little bit on the edges. Maybe where the elephant's going to sit. And then we got our little swirls down here for our duck. And then I'm going to add a little bit of B triple zero. That's not dark enough. Let's not do that. Okay, let's grab. Let's do BO2. And we can see that a little bit better. And then we'll add some BO1. Yeah, we better add a little bit up here to our raindrops. So I'm just going to swoosh over the top of those. And I guess I could have probably stamped those and maybe some blue. But I didn't think of that, so I'm just going to go with this. And then, let's see. Let's put some stuff on. So let's do our little elephant. So I'm going to pop him up. So I grabbed some um, 1 and 16th inch... Um, where'd my thing go here? Stupid thing. Okay, so let's pop some stuff up. So I've got my elephant and I've grabbed some 1 16th inch pop dots. So let's put some behind him. Hold him up off of our card a little bit. Take the back off here. OK, 
Okay, I got a little puddle and I want to make sure I can see my cinnamon up here. So let's do like this. Okay, and then let's do a little ducky here, this little guy. He's looks fun, so let's put him down. Let's have him jumping in, so let's do like this. I'm gonna kind of lift him up off of the the puddle here. Whoops, that's not that's not close enough. Let's do like this. So it looks like he's about to jump in. He's having an excitement time there. Then we'll do our little dog. Oh, but I want to have room for my umbrella, so let's see. Let's put the umbrella parts on here first. build it so let's go like maybe like this and my card base is a little bit bigger than this brown section so it's okay for that to hang off the edge then we'll do our dog so let's kind of tuck him behind our umbrella here how about right here and we'll fix this one. And he's kind of needing to have something to stand on. Let's see, what is he gonna need? I should have maybe put some puddles around him a little bit. Maybe we could put this puddle kind of like this, so it looks like it's kind of floating out here. That seems reasonable. Let me grab my stamp pad. I'm just going to do it like this this time. Okay, so let's do this way. So it looks like he's not kind of out there in space. And then we'll add a little bit of our BO2. And BO1. That, and that leaves this little guy. I guess we could put him in here. Let's put him, he's gonna be walking off over this way. Let's get him a pop dot. Maybe he's already jumped off the puddle and he's coming out. So let's see. Let's do him right here. He's already had his excitement in there. He's going to be leaving all that. Okay, so there is our card front. So let's see. I want to put it onto my base. And I want to attach it with an action wobble. So let's see which way does it go. Okay, so this part is less wiggly, so I'm gonna that goes on the back of um, onto the card base part, and this I'm gonna attach the wiggliest one. I'm gonna attach the back of my brown piece. Oh no, there we go. Don't attach it to the front. That's no good. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. Let's stick it down. I'm thinking that maybe I should, maybe I should round the corners. No, let's not. Okay, so I don't want this to, let me see, does it go up anymore? It kind of, when it's sitting here, it tips over and falls down in the corner here. So I'm going to um, put in, let me see. I'm gonna need some, I think I'll go get the my bigger pop dots. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and got the one and one eighth inch pop dots and I'm gonna put one, a couple on the back here. So let's do the corner. 
So maybe like that. Let's try that. And I'm not going to take the other side off. I'm only going to stick it on here and then leave the little piece of paper on there so it doesn't stick to the back of the card. But that'll keep it when it, it wiggles to stay up there. And I think I'll put one over here too. Maybe. Let's see. Does it need one on this other side? Mm, I think I'll wait and see. Okay, so one popped up. And then we're going to remove this backing paper off of our wobble. Okay, and then we're going to put it onto here. Let's see. Like this. Mush it down. Okay, and then it goes. It wiggles around. Kind of fun. Something different. Complicated. It would also be fun to do some of these, um, I got some smaller action wobbles to so maybe do another card with these little guys or the umbrella just wiggling so when you, there, everything's on the card and then just this stuff wiggles around when you open the card. So there's our finished card. Didn't it turn out cute? Pretty fun for just spur of the moment. I will put a link to all the supplies I use down in the description box. I would love for you to come shopping with me. It really helps me out. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I will make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.